If you base your trades around the economic calendar, then it will not only allow you to snipe entries, but it will also reduce your trading time by 90%. So in today's video, we will be covering what is economic calendar and its settings, optimal times to trade, two common scenarios on news, and lastly, the high probability way of trading the economic calendar. Now let's study what is an economic calendar. Economic calendar is basically a schedule or a timetable which tells us all the important events that are going to happen in the week in the forex market and the commodities market basically it tells us the special events or the more impactful events that are going to happen in the forex and the commodities market there are many economic calendars but i do like this one on the fastball.com because it has a clean ui and doesn't make you feel like we are in the 90s also i like to adjust some of the settings in the economic calendar by going on to the screens tab and selecting only the countries australia eurozone germany japan uk and us also i go to the more tab and select only the news that are of two star or three star this will make sure that i have only the news visible that are either have a moderate impact represented by the two star or a high impact represented by the three star okay so i continued this applied the filter and this basically good uh, economic calendar with a brilliant ui i have that on my display also fastball.com helps you to make your fundamental analysis as there are many articles based on what is going on the current economy and you have ai signals as well so you can go through it the website is clean and the economic calendar is the best part of it and also this video is sponsored by them so the link will be in the description below now once we have set the economic calendar to give us only the high or moderate impact news and only the news is of this six countries then we can move on to our next step next we will be seeing what are the optimal times for trading for any forex pair you know it comprises of two quantities let's suppose we are analyzing AUD USD then the two components it comprises of are Australian dollar and American dollar so AUD will be affected by two news Australian dollar news and USD dollar news so any forex pair would be affected by news of the two components which it uh, which it is made up of so it is important to keep an eye on australian news as well and american news as well while trading aud usd however through back testing i have noticed that always the usd or american news will give you a higher probability setup compared to any other currencies news such as the australian news in this case so next up we will be seeing real time chart examples so the two common scenarios that happen on news are firstly we have the front running scenario in this scenario price takes out the structural high or equal high just 5 to 15 minutes before the news this is the keyword before the news the liquidity gets taken out before the news and at the news we just have a one-sided move either up or down so let's look at an example here you can see we had a euro news on 715 715 utc utc minus 5 and this is the fastball economic calendar set according to the settings i have told you earlier now if i come to the euro usd one hour chart i can see liquidity is resting on these four hour highs and it is resting at these four hour lows before the news just 15 minutes before the news here on the red arrow just 15 minutes before the news what would be the time 700 utc minus 5 at this time price came and took these highs here you can see on the red arrow and close back inside the range then what happened at the news at the news we only had a one-sided move towards the downside so whenever you observe in the market that the liquidity liquidity gets taken gets taken just before news then just before news then it is wise to place your trade before the news with a hard stop above the highs okay 
you can see the liquidity got taken before the news and we placed a short trade and netted a 4 to 5 hour so as a basic rule that i have implemented in my trading if the liquidity of the highs get taken just 5 to 15 minutes before the news i like to place the trade before the news otherwise i am cautious and wait for the news so let's move on to our next scenario and next scenario or the second scenario that happens on news is the liquidity sweep scenario in this scenario the equal highs or the structural highs are taken exactly on the news so let's look at an example also another thing to remember here is that this is a two-way move firstly on the news we will have a manipulation into the key level this is the key level we will have a manipulation into the key level and then we will move down this will be your manipulation so this is a two-sided move and i have named it as liquidity sweeps so let's look at an example here you can see on 8 30 utc time we had usa news okay utc minus 5 we had usa news and if we look at the euro usd chart which two news will affect euro usd euro news is and usd news so we have a red folder news or three star news that is the high impact news for euro usd on 8 30 8 30 utc minus 5 and exactly at the news time you can see we got a wick and price took out these lows this is the manipulation and price closed back inside the range again we could long here after the news and target at least these highs so this would be your two to three hour trade see here i was cautious and waited for the news to come out and then place the trade why because before the news this liquidity of the four hour lows wasn't taken out and if it was taken out just 5 to 15 minutes before the news i would have applied scenario one simple now let's move on to a last topic that is high probability way of trading economic calendar so there are three steps while looking for a high probability setup using economic calendar first of all identify the higher time frame trend either it is bearish or bullish then identify the structural high or equal highs on the 4 hour time frame step 3 is when the news is about to come zone into the price action and see which scenario is happening either scenario 1 of front running is happening or scenario 2 is happening that is of liquidity sweep so do keep an eye on the price action just before the news so these are our three steps so let's look a high probability trade taken through the economic calendar now in the economic calendar you can see we had usd news is at 7 30 am 7 30 am or you can see 7 30 utc minus 5 now let's look at a chart of gbp usd in that similar time frame you can see on the daily time frame gbp usd was in a downward trend or bearish trend so our first step is identified that is number one what is the higher time frame trend it is the bearish trend or downward trend now the second step is to identify four hour highs so here you can see i have identified these four hour highs and these four hour lows now as the news arrived on the green arrow what is the time on green arrow 7 30 utc minus 5 as you can see the news was also came out on 7 30 utc minus 5 as the news arrived on the green arrow price took this liquidity on these highs and close back inside so this could have been a valid shot for three to four hour trade now here too you must note an important point that i didn't took a trade before the news why because this liquidity was intact and the front running scenario was invalid scenario one was invalid here and which scenario is this this is scenario two that is of liquidity sweep and what is the manipulation this wick is the small manipulation that happened on the news so i hope the lecture was clear if you want to watch more ict simplified videos you can click on the lectures on the right hand side